Are you watching me? No, no, no. I'm not going to show you yet. Don't, don't be watching. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. I'm drawing. I'm drawing something. And I think, I think you all might know what this is. Don't look. Don't look. Look away. Look away. I see you looking. Yeah, thank you for looking away. Good. So let me get back to it. Let me get back. No, 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 no. I'm drawing. And I'll show you here in a second what I'm drawing. But I think, uh, I think this will be pretty good. You know? So let me show you. See that picture? That is... Yeah, we all know what that is. That's the sun with some clouds. I got a couple birds and that's grass, okay? That's, that's a picture. I'll get back to that in a second. But do you guys know what a calendar is? You know what a calendar is, right? A calendar is, you know, it has the days of the week and the days of the month. And some calendars have the day of the year too. But what does a calendar do? It tells you what day you're at or on, and it counts down days throughout the year. So I got a desk calendar. Now there's a lot of different calendars out there. There's the calendars you put on the wall, and then you have calendars on your computer, little bitty calendars, and then you, you print off calendars, and then but then there's this desk calendar. This is Lisa's desk calendar for September. And we know that September is a month. How do we know that? It's on our calendar. And this is year 2020 that we're in right now. So a calendar, and this calendar sits on your desk. So you always look at it so you know what day you're on. But what does a calendar always begin at? It begins at the beginning. So this is September 1st. So the calendar goes throughout the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it counts through the days of the week. But a calendar always starts at the beginning. Let me say that again, the beginning. But look at what this week is. If you look right here, this is September 30th, it's Grandparents' Day. Wow. You know we always hear of Thanksgiving and, and Memorial Day. It's Grandparents' Day this Sunday, the 13th, that I'm doing this lesson on. And you know why we know that? It's on the calendar. And a calendar always starts at the beginning. So, on a side note here. We know today is Grandparents' Day, so don't forget a few things about your grandparents. Well, first of all, don't forget about your grandparents today, because I know some of you don't get to see your grandparents, and you know they miss you because you're their grandparents, and you know what they want to do? They want to hear from you. So if you have the time today, because what's today? Grandparents' Day, yes. So maybe call them on the phone because they want to hear from you. They want to hear what you're doing in school and what you're learning. And they might want to know what Mr. Jeff taught today. So if I know one of your grandparents, I might ask them, did they call you and tell you what I talked about? Hold on a second. The beginning. That's what I'm going to talk about today. But let me get back to Grandparents Day. But if you see your grandparents, one of your grandparents today, give them a hug. Maybe give us some cookies or some flowers to your grandma or papa or whatever you call your nana, whatever you call your grandparents, but don't forget about your grandparents. And that is on today's calendar. And a calendar always starts at the beginning. So today's lesson is about the beginning. So what is the beginning? So we know that who made the beginning? Yeah, God made the beginning. So where is that in the Bible? That is so easy, people. It's in Genesis. Genesis is the first book of the Bible. 
and we're going to do verses 1 and 2 in chapter 1. So let's go to our Bibles. And, oh, look it, I got a couple masks in my Bible. So if you go to church, don't forget your mask. Or when you're out in public, you need that, you need your mask. So, and, so let's go to Genesis chapter 1. So if you go to, if, if you get the Genesis, stand up and yell, hallelujah! All right, I'm at Genesis chapter one. We're gonna do verses one and two, pretty simple. And it talks about the beginning. It's kind of like a stopwatch too. If, if you use a stopwatch, where does the stopwatch begin? Once you hit it, it starts at the beginning. So we're gonna be at the beginning today, the beginning of the Bible. Just like if your mom or your dad is cooking something, they wanna time it, they time it from the beginning. So let's go to the beginning. And that's in Genesis 1, chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Hallelujah! Yes, you found it. Yes, so let's go to it. I have it written on the big board today. So let's just move my Bible aside. And we're gonna go right up here. So. God created the sky and the earth. Oh, time out. That's my picture. God created the sky and the earth in the beginning. So let's go back to that Bible verse. God created the sky and the earth. At first, the earth was completely empty. There was nothing on the earth. There was nothing on the earth. Didn't I just say that? Darkness covered the ocean and God's spirit moved over the water. So in the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. Here's the sky, here's the earth. He did it in the beginning, just like a calendar. He did it in the beginning. So just think about it. This is really hard to think about, isn't it? How did God create when there was nothing? So in the beginning of anything, there was, God was there. That is really hard to understand when you think about that. But you know what I want you to do? I don't want you to think about that. I just want you to understand that in your heart that if your heart believes that God was there in the beginning and he created the sky he created the earth and he created everything when in the beginning just like the calendar starts in the beginning of a month or the beginning of a year and it's funny how the Bible in Genesis 1, the first book of the Bible, verse 1 talks about the beginning. Because in the beginning, God created the earth and the sky because there was nothing. So don't think too hard about that. Because sometimes when I think hard about that, I get a headache. Don't think too hard about that. What God wants you to know is just believe that with your heart. Because that's what really counts. But what about Jesus? Well, what about Jesus? Was, uh, was Jesus there in the beginning? What do you guys think? I can't hear you. Did someone say yes? Yeah, I think someone said yes. Yeah, you back. Yeah, no, not you. You back there. Yeah, J Jesus was there in the beginning. But how do we know that? If God created the sky and the earth in the beginning, how do we know Jesus was there? Well, it's in the Bible. But where in the Bible does it say that? Well, it's in John chapter 1, 1. Now, John is in the New Testament. It goes Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. It's the fourth book, verse 1 of chapter 1. Now go there right now. Hurry up. I'll wait. I won't wait that long. 
But let's see if, look at that. Look at that, look at that, I'm there. Hallelujah! I got there before you did. John chapter one, verse one says this. Before the world began. So what John is saying here, before the world began up here, the word was there. Now, who is the word? Jesus. Jesus is also the word. So John is saying, before the world began, the word was there. So Jesus was there before the world began. Is that not exciting? So even when God was creating the heavens and the earth, Jesus was there. And John continues, the word was with God and the word was God. Oh, is that not exciting? So Jesus is the word. He was there in the beginning. Yeah, the beginning of everything. He was with God and he was God. So that kind of explains that Jesus is also God too, isn't it? Now that's another thing that you can really think heavy on. But don't think heavy on that. Just believe in that. Because once you believe in Jesus, he's there in the beginning and he'll be with you forever. Not just in the, oh, I just got chills. Not, not just in the beginning of time, but when you believe in Jesus, he's with you forever. He was there when God created the heavens and the earth. Jesus is the word which lives and breathes in our Bible. And when you believe in Jesus and that he died for your sins, he will be with you forever. So guys and girls, just remember, Jesus is the word. Jesus is there in the beginning. And Jesus is with you forever when he's right there in your heart. And before I leave, don't forget about Grandparents Day today because it's on the calendar. And you know what else? I'll see you next time.